Hola, it's Magma Rhino. Um, today I'm just going to do a quick overview of the 3.2.1 update. Right now, I'm going to say do not get it. Um, unless for some reason you just don't like seeing that little notification down there. Don't get this update, it isn't worth it. I'm going to actually downgrade my device and show you all how in a little bit, as in a few days. Okay, that's strange. Uh, this is really off topic, but that picture doesn't have the Asus skin on it, and it's just the default honeycomb. That's strange. <laughs> anyway, so what 3.2.1 is supposed to bring is security enhancements with Google. Uh, you won't know that. A new app called Supernote, which I'll show you, which is actually good, but if you're not going to use it, don't update. Uh, some translation stuff, some stuff if you live in China, updates for Polaris Office and web storage, and then it's supposed supposed to somehow uh, improve Flash and improve force closing in the browser, which it does the opposite. Uh, I've noticed that Flash playing is actually almost worse, and the browser force closes about like 20% of the time when I open it fresh. Like if I do this, oops, sorry. Wow, I've terrible aim when I'm recording. So I'm looking at the camera, not the tablet. Um, so if I just open it from this fresh, to the home page, like one in five times it'll crash. It's probably not going to crash while I do it now, just because it's going to be a brat. But, oh, there it goes. So, it just crashed when I opened it. Never did that before. It was actually a lot better before. Um... You know, I'm not going to bother showing you playback. Basically, it's the same before. Uh, 720p, it's still choppy. It's supposed to be good, but it's really not. Uh, somebody told me if it's not working for you, if it's like really terrible, what you have to do is you have to go into the market, uninstall your Flash Player, then go into your browser settings. Oops, right. I'm using a uh, different user interface, so you can't do this. Unless you get ADW Launcher EX. But you go to your application info for browser. And you clear the data, which will clear everything. That's a huge catch. Uh, anyway. So you clear all the data, you reinstall Flash Player. And that does improve the quality a bit. But I've noticed it just declined back to what it used to be in no time at all. That's pretty weird. Sorry, I'm just I'm playing with the screen. Um, anyway. Uh, other thing it brought was Supernote, which I put in my folder here. So, it, I don't, okay. What's weird before is that uh, I deleted all the old notes and it wouldn't let me add a new one for some strange reason. So, fa la 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 la. Yeah, okay. So before, it just, I delete them all, and for some reason that button went, like, gray, like it was pushed, and it wouldn't let me add another. Odd, but whatever, it's fixed now. So basically, this is great. Somebody uh, said this, if you're in a college environment, you feel like being all cool and bringing your tablet to a uh, lecture hall or whatever, and your teacher uses a lot of um, shorthand notes. Uh, I found the best way to use this is just write the word. Um, if you have a stylus, I'm sure it'd be better, and I'm kind of reaching around stuff, so excuse my band height running. But be like, uh... <laughs> Sorry, this is terrible handwriting. Government was cool. Eos. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, my point is, if you do the whole words, it's a lot easier than going letter by letter. Uh, it actually, if you hit keyboard here, you can type right into it. So, if, like, you're just typing your notes, whatever, blah, 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 and then they add some symbol, and you can just, okay, you have to go back to scribble. You can just add that symbol. So that's my little pirate ship wheel, and then a squiggle. <laughs> anyway, you get my point. So this is uh, really good if you're in a college environment. And you can actually do this to backspace. It's a setting you change. Anyway, I'm done with that. 
Um, so the other things it was supposed to bring was like stuff for China, translation stuff, whatnot, improver, imp can't talk, improvements to Polaris Office and Asus Web Storage. Only improvements I've noticed to the web storage was a new logo here. Uh, Polaris, I just redid my home screen so half the icons are missing. But for Polaris, I didn't really notice anything new either. I did notice it's a bit uh, snappier when you're opening stuff up. This seems the same. I've never actually used this PowerPoint uh, presentation style. I think it would be quite interesting. But anyway, this is great if you have the keyboard doc, because uh, then again, you can just make a document. You can type your essay on here. It saves it as a Word file. So you want to go pull it up on your laptop or normal computer, you can go ahead. No problems there. So, I mean, as far as the app go, it goes, it's um, still a great app to have, and it's built in. As far as the update goes, I don't really think it did much to improve it. Um, so, I'm going to wrap this up now. The 3.2.1 update, let me just go there and show you in case for some reason you don't believe me. There it is, 3.2.1. So this was a Google provided update, not an Asus. Um, but um, bum bum. That's pretty much it. Don't get it unless you feel you really would um, benefit from the Supernote app. Uh, because if if you don't like want that app, it's really not worth it. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be downgrading. I'll include an annotation right over there, right right up there for you. Uh, once I do that video, and you can just jump right to it. Um, but other than that, hopefully the next update is a lot better and fixes all these problems. So, thanks again for watching. If you like my stuff and information on the Asus Transformer and other Android-related... Alright, sorry, I'm not going to act like an ad advertiser. <laughs> um, if you like my stuff, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, it helps out a lot. Uh, thanks again for watching.